that states that United States Ambassador to Libya, Christopher Stevens, was killed along with three other Americans. These killings happened in the wake of protesting that was going on at the um, consulate over in Eastern Liberty, Libya. Apparently, there was a big protest against a YouTube video, a film that was put on YouTube by someone who disparaged and denigrated the Muslim religion. Now, the Secretary of State is on the case. Hillary put out a statement. I don't remember the exact words, but she basically expressed two sentiments. One, that the United States does not condone the denigration of anybody's personal religious beliefs, but at the same time, she made sure that she was, she said, let me be clear that any violence of any kind is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Now, that there's a diplomacy there, and we have freedom of religion, but we also have freedom of speech, and that freedom of Freedom of speech allows us to put anything on YouTube that we want. But just because we have the freedom doesn't mean that it's always the right thing to do. Whatever we say, whatever we do, whatever we record has consequences. Now, I was watching some of the coverage and I couldn't help but notice Mitt Romney's response. Well, if you're running for president, you really should comment and kind of, you know, back the president, everybody's got to be one. If you could remember 1980, leading up to the election, President-elect Reagan, and even before that, before he was even elected, actually supported Jimmy Carter in Jimmy Carter's efforts to bring the, the hostages back home. And on the very day of Reagan's inauguration, the hostages were freed from Iran. Now, I've heard theories that they didn't want to mess with this new president, but clearly the administration, the Carter administration, did what they had to do and work with the intelligence community and worked out a deal. And Reagan and Carter worked together. People come together in, in times of crisis. So I kind of think it was very disgraceful for Mitt Romney to politicize the issue. He, he criticized the, the president of the United States. He is the president, at least until January of next year. So I just hope that the violence is halted and we could, and it's, you know, it's not that guy's fault that someone murdered, you know, an innocent human being. However, I just wish we would take a step back and weigh the consequences of our words.